Hello, hello. This is page 193 called Find a Match. And the topic of this is powers of powers. I'll do some examples with you because this is tricky business. And I definitely would use some scrap paper. All right, I like this section of paper just to kind of keep things organized. All right, let's start with number one. It is U squared all cubed. All right, so what that means is we're going to take the U cubed and multiply it times itself three times. So you've got U squared times U squared times U squared. Well, that's like U to the first power times U to the first power. That's U squared times U to the first power times U to the first power. That's another U squared times u to the first power times u to the first power, which is that u squared. Well, what we find is that is 1. So when we have exponents with the same bases, we're going to add the exponents. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So it's u to the 6th power. So u squared, all cubed, is u to the 6. Do you notice anything here between the 2 and the 3 and the 6? If you figured out a power to a power, you're actually going to multiply the powers. So 3 times 2 is 6. Look at this. 3 twos <coughs> is 6. So that's kind of a little shortcut. But practice this way first and see if you can get, get there. All right, so u squared <coughs> to the third power is u to the sixth power. And I put that down here, so that's going to be the word and. Okay, number two and three is very much like that. Number four, you got negative k squared all squared. So you've got negative k squared times negative k squared. Well, let's look. A negative times negative, that's going to give us a positive. And I know that if I multiply powers of the same bases, that it is this k, you're going to add the exponents. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's k to the 4th power. Now look at this. 2 times 2 is 4. So it's going to equal k to the 4th power. So if I look down below, k to the 4th power is down here. So that is going to be brother. So that one's done. Then you start getting into some coefficients. Let's look at number 7. We've got negative 3 u cubed all cubed. Well, that means this. Negative 3 u cubed times negative 3 u cubed times negative 3 u cubed. So this whole thing is the base, and you're going to multiply it times itself three different times. All right, let's look at the coefficient first. The negative 3 times the negative 3 times the negative 3. Well, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. The 9 times the negative 3 becomes a negative 27. That is like negative 3 to the third power. Now I've got u cubed cubed. So I've got u3 times there, u3 times there, u3 times there. When you're, they're multiplied, so we're going to add the exponents. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. Look at this. It's like negative 3 cubed times u cubed. 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 27, u to the ninth is right here. So that is going to be is. If we look at, let's look at number 12. Negative 2k, all to the fifth power. We can break that up. That is like negative 2 to the fifth power times k to the fifth power, because right, that's a 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 
So if I take negative 2 to the fifth power, that's negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, times negative 2 is negative 8, times a negative 2 is 16, times another negative 2 is a negative 32k to the fifth. So you can break it up that way too. So negative 13k to the fifth is right there. So that is going to be cannot. All right, let's find, the, they're getting a little more complicated as we go. 14, I've done for you already. Over here, it's a little bit of a breakdown. These little carrots mean to the power, because I couldn't do a, a little squared button with this software. But let's look at, <clears throat> excuse me, how about number 16? So we've got negative 8, u to the fifth, k cubed, all squared. Okay, so that really means negative 8 squared, u to the fifth squared, k cubed squared, negative 8 squared is negative 8 times negative 8, that's 64. Okay, this is like u to the fifth times u to the fifth, and this is going to be k cubed times k cubed. Okay, these are all u's down here. Okay, so 64. Five u's and five more u's. So I'm going to have 10 of those. So I'm multiplying these two. They have the same base. So u to the 10th power. Then k. I've got three here and three here. So that's the sixth power. So 64 u to the 10, k to the sixth power is right here. And that's number 16. So this is going to be the word B. We're getting down there. Let's try number 20. Got negative U to the 10th power. K all squared. Okay, remember, this is like K to the 1st power. So I've got negative U to the 10th power all squared. I'm going to break them up. And then K squared. All right, so if I have negative u to the 10 power times negative u to the 10th power, I'm going to have k 1 times k to the 1. Well, that's easy. We've got two k's there, so that's k squared. But here, I've got a negative times a negative. That's positive. Positive u, there's 10 there, 10 more there, there's 20. So all together, u to the 20th, k squared. Okay, because remember, when we have the same base, you add those. So 1 plus 1, 10 plus 10 is 20. So u to the 20th power, k squared right here. Number 20 is cannot again. But right, do you feel like you're getting the hang of it? It's not too bad. Let's try one more. Let's try number 17. 5. U. Doesn't have an X one, so it's 1. K to the 6. All cubed. So it's going to be 5 cubed times u to the first power cubed times k to the sixth power all cubed. Let's start our shortcut. 5 cubed. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 again is 125. Well, we find a shortcut back along here that when we have a power to a power, we actually multiply them. Okay, this is u to the first times u to the first times u to the first or the 1 is going to be 3 times, so 3 times 1 is 3, so u to the 3rd power. k to the 6th power all cubed is k to the 6 times k to the 6 times k to the 6, or 6 3 times, or 6 times 3, that's 18. So 125 u cubed k to the 18th, right here. And that's number 17, so that's the word falls. 
Let's just try one more of those to, to make sense of that. How about 21? Negative 2, u, k to the 4th, all to the 4th power. So we've got negative 2 to the 4th power times u to the 1st power to the 4th power. Because remember, if there is no power, it's 1. And then k to the 4th, all to the 4th power. All right, you know what's an easy way to remember to do this one? Well, you've got 4 here, right? So that's like negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Well, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And so actually, this becomes 4 times 4. So this is 16. So look at this. You're going to have u to the first 4 times, or 4 times 1. So u to the 4th power. k to the 4th, 4 times, or 4 fours. So this is k to the 16th power. So we have 16, u to the 4th, k to the 16th. Aha, there it is, right there. So number 21 is help. Whoa, that last one almost tricked us up just because we couldn't find it on there. All right, so go ahead and give that a shot. And we've done a good portion of them. Take your time, be careful, and you can do it.